in my little closet where I've got like a Taylor Swift shrine. Cottage <laughs> pie. Mm. guys what's good and welcome back to a new video so as you can see i'm here at your motor club now with my favorite person in the car scene it's alan the owner of your motor club obviously the guy that's been in all these videos he's an absolute hero info in description section below but more importantly you've already seen it in the title below we're here to do all of the coolant hoses they're sat on the desk over there but before we go ahead and do that having fitted the hard race anti-roll bar there's a little bit of a knocking going on so we're going to get the car in prime condition by the end of this video so what we're going to do is we're going to go check what's been going on what's been rattling and more importantly what the hell has been causing all of these issues let's go find out what's going on because i have been so nervously bad. waiting last night to find out why there is a knocking going on it's most likely needing new arms but there is something in here i think it's something to do with the way the spring is set i'm not sure but there's something that's been causing me great annoyance it all looks like it's tight, which it's is the strangest tight, thing. Eh? Everything's in, that was disturbed. Yeah. That's tight, that's ran all the way down and in. There on there, flush. Those little bits in the I just think it's because be. the, the rear end is now so much so stiffer. stiffer yeah, I think it's so bringing so. out any other issues yeah. that could potentially be there. That's exactly it. We're definitely going to need to do a video here on the channel where we do all the bushes on the rear end. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lengthy process, but I definitely reckon we should that's, do that. That's correct, yeah. The stiffer you make it, the next weakness will show. So as we saw those bushes in, the lower arms, the bushes in the training arms and the forward links, they're probably now getting, yeah, tore up a little, so yeah. There's something going on in this side. <sighs> See, that is definitely tight. I just don't understand what's going on. Honestly, mate, it's all tight, there's nothing. I'm half tempted to tell you to go and just drive it around the yard and you'll feel it. Oh, fuck. What? Look. That cable has been sat on top of the exhaust, and as a result, it's okay, melted through. What was that for? Your fog light? Yeah, my fog light, yeah. Fucking I think, as always, we're in a position now where it's just going to be, you know, breaking it down and spending money, which sucks. So, if anyone would like to sponsor this car, or sponsor me, or frankly, just give me bucket loads of cash so I can keep fixing things to make content for you guys, then that would be great. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not like that. But all the same, there's just something in there that's really frustrating and I just don't really want to be throwing it around any corners. Oh well, we do need to do, like, a, like I said earlier, a full video where we do polyurethane bushes on the car and just make it race ready. A lot of you guys have messaged me saying that you want to see the car on track. I want to see the car on track, but I know there's a lot of pretenders that claim they've got OCD. I have got actual OCD, which, you know, does genuinely affect my life and applying that to me being interested in cars just means as soon as I hear even the smallest of noises, I stress out until I can find out what's going on and get it fixed. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to push that one to the side for the time being. Um, we're gonna lower the car down and uh, get those hoses fitted. But in the meantime, just quickly, we're gonna be putting the little bungs in that I mentioned in a previous video that are missing from the rear spring set in the back. So we're gonna get those fitted, find out what's going on, hide that cable that I just said was burnt because it was sat right on top of the exhaust like tip itself. So we're gonna get all of that fixed and uh, join you guys shortly. Thank you for being patient, guys. I love you all. The support is unreal, as always. More importantly, let's get involved. Right, guys, just before we go ahead and fit the coolant pipes with Alan, the Finger Blaster 5000 himself, just thought I'd explain, put it into context a little bit as to what we're actually talking about. So the issue that I'm having clearly isn't to do with the hard wrist drop links, the anti-roll bar, or my BC callover suspension setup. What's most likely happened is the bush in the trailing arm potentially the bushes in the wishbone or the bushes in the actual lower control arm itself here on the rear is most likely shod or at least gone in general. It's an old car, 16 years old, 15, 16 years old. I see, yeah. Exactly, it needs to be done. It's just me procrastinating because at the end of the day, it's money that I don't really want to be spending. But, no, oh, come on camera, sort yourself out. It's money that I don't want to be spending, but like I said, it's not something that I can look at fixing right now which I guess is another reason for me to prolong doing any decent point of view driving shots or any track days. 
But for the time being, we are going to get that fixed. I just need to go ahead and get it ordered so that we can go ahead and get a video done with Alan. Now, we're going to lower the car down now. Um, we're going to get the hoses done and uh, we're basically going to fix the issue that I've had in the engine bay as fairly recently my coolant hoses split and exploded everywhere, which you're probably going to see evidence of shortly. So let's sort this out behind camera and we'll join you guys shortly. Okay. So they come in a three or a five hose kit. Yeah. This is the five hose kit. Yeah. It's a lot stronger than the stuff that we've got in there at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Not so inclined to split, which is nice. In terms of doing a job like this, what's the first thing to do? <clears throat> right, uh, of course, make sure your car is cool and it's not, you know, the cooling system's not hot and pressurized because you'll take your radiator cap off and you'll spray yourself, you could end up hurting yourself. Uh, so let the car cool down, drain the coolant, don't just pour it down the drain if you're going to get rid of it, dispose yeah. of it. Well, we've got three and a half litres here. You're going to need say, and all the fresh coolant that's in there now. To go in and then, yeah, just systematically one hose off, one hose on. Uh, use hose removers and things like that, not just screwdrivers and jamming them in and damaging the ends and things like that. So, okay. yeah, it's uh, nice one. Yeah, not too bad, really. Cool. Well, uh, let's get started. I've not done something like this before. I've certainly never done any silicon pipes in the car. Now, purely for the viewer's reference, I didn't really want to do, you know, red, blue, green, neon, yellow. I'm thinking about it this point, from this point of view, right? It's important to me to make good videos. It's important for me to have a car that's running well. But what's not vital for me is to have a neon green engine bay so that when I do get stopped by the police, if it ever happens, the first thing they do is, oh great, your car's modified. I would like my car to look tasteful, not be too loud to attract attention, but from an engine bay perspective, be crazy modified, but not so obvious. For that reason, I'm changing all of the silicon pipes to black, including the induction kit. I've got a new upgraded induction kit coming, the Pro Ram Air. Yeah. And then I can do a cold air feed and hope that I can hide it and make it look somewhat inconspicuous. But no, I'm excited. Um, let's go ahead and get a move on, mate. So it can be cooling cap off, make sure there's no pressure. You always put a rag over it sometimes as well if you're, you're worried about pressure being you know, spraying out. Then we yeah, lift the car up, put a drainer, catch the fluid. There you go. So no pressure in the coolant and it's cool. Okay. Up there, so really, we need to take this off. I don't think we're going to get this anymore, then, mate. It's this side of it. It's there. You see my fingertips on? Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Right, Alan, live on camera, mate. What, what are we getting up to? Uh, it's, it's, it's Alan High, it's not George High, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I'll get my head chopped off by the splitter here. <laughs> Where are you, you bugger? Where are you? You guys can see the big black pipe, but the Jubilee clip is further up through that gap up there. So that's the one that Alan's trying to get to as it stands. Right, so Alan, you were just saying that the person that put the Jubilee clip on the, the actual hose that you're trying to get to now yeah. was very inconsiderate of us ever changing them in the future. Yeah, yeah, if I could find him, I would probably punch him. Okay, right, um, the Jubilee clip is extremely tough to get. It doesn't mean we're not going to get it, we'll get it. Uh, to get the job moving on, we'll probably, because we've definitely got the replacement hoses, cut the old hose, drain the fluid out and then with it dragged out of the way, I'll have a bit more access and I can crack on. It's literally like you're popping a cyst. <laughs> I used to be fair, I used to watch those videos on YouTube. Mm. Which are weirdly satisfying. Oh, I love doing work with you, Dad. Oh, isn't it nice? I'm joking. Making your car bleed. You were still in school when I was in school, so that's fine. What? I was teaching and... No, no, seriously, because you're only 10 years older, yeah. when I was in school, so were you. Ah. I was in nursery. <laughs> and you were in university, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. It does look nice as well, it's nice clean coolant, it's not full of rust. Alan, we've got a dribbler. Yeah. The steamy scene, it's not that it's hot, hot, it's just because it's flipping cold here. Just while everything's dripping into the actual reservoir itself, I've just been on the forum on the uh, old trusty Facebook, and we're just waiting for someone to tell us what the full capacity is for the coolant reservoir. Um, obviously, we've got what's come out and we've got some extra, but it would be nice to you know replace it all and make it all uh, beautiful, put some uh, lovely coolant back in. They always say that you should put in the same colour that comes out. Um, coolant comes in a few different options, but yeah. In this particular instance, if you have a Mark II ST or Focus RS, it's pink. 
you need to. Right, hopefully. Oh, you've tucked it in there good, haven't you, mate? There you go, though. There you go. It's come loose. Bin that. Check on the floor where it belongs. Let me show you the camera. It's clocked this Jubilee clip pointing down so we can get straight up on it. Don't do what the other guy did, was point it up and in so we could we struggled like mad. Always make a job easy because you never know when you're going to be going to be visiting it. Be able to see what's going on in there. Now, looking at the intercooler, I cannot wait to get that Lorenzo sign taken off yeah. and have it sprayed. It just looks so bad. Dropping all the Jubilee clips. Oh, there's a clippy clip, clip, clip. Well, this thing, the pipe itself is too girthy. Is it too girthy for it? It may just go. If not, then it may have to work something else out. The new ones, again, because they're not rated pipe, may be beyond What's all this clip, this clip bullshit about? Yeah, it just, that's how it does it. just ratchets around it, so that slides into them. Doesn't. No, yeah, well, it's just Try. too big. It's just too big. I think that's what it is. The replacements are a bit girthier, so we may end up having to use some tie wraps to support it. Right, guys, for this one, obviously, we've lowered the car down. The first thing we're going to need to do is just temporarily relocate the ECU holder. This is the Ram Air ECU holder that, unfortunately, when I bought it secondhand, only came with the two clips. There is one that's supposed to screw in on the other side that does make a lot of difference, but I don't have that. But more importantly, it's the hose that we're reaching to in here, which I'll show you in a second, that we need to attach. So I'm going to just adjust the camera angle if you guys can see that hose there is the one that i'm going to be putting in now so i'm going to get that done now the question is alan is where have you put all the tools right ecu is out of the way should be enough to come off Okay, right, there we go. That's come off straight away. You can just tell they're very brittle. Just really bad quality. Well, not, not so much bad quality, but you know, things age. Things deteriorate. So we've got this one off. We can keep the Jubilee clip if we choose. We don't need to as we've got new ones anyway. So that's great. Just off camera. This is one we prepared earlier. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so just go over the pipe, which it has done. And then, it's just a matter of Putting it on properly like so. You can see that it's just slipped on there super easily. Gonna put that Jubilee clip in the necessary place. To be fair, I'm actually gonna take that off and I'm gonna put the Jubilee clip around the other side. Just make it easier. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 yeah. it's important to be able to maintain this in the future. So, it's gone back on again. Notice how the Jubilee clip there is pointed at an angle that I can actually, yeah. there we go. So I can tighten that up now, so that should be great the right angle mate. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Now it's both ends of the first one done, so we're now gonna find the second hose work out. I think that'll be the top coolant hose. Obviously we've got two in here, down there. Yeah, you've got two for the radiator and then two for the, um, <coughs> it's like the uh, fill and vapor. So let's go with, yep. As you can see, when we had the coolant explosion, it's covered. And because it's too big to actually fit in the space it's in, it's actually compressing against the car, which I didn't like. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to, uh, can I actually push that back out again? No, don't wanna risk that. But either way, I'll pop that one aside for just two seconds. We'll get some more of this out. And then we should be in a better position. So we're getting this next silicon pipe out. I'd actually like to replace this one for black as well. This bright red stuff sat in the engine bay is just gonna be another thing for a copper to look at. Now, obviously my mods are declared, but it'd just be nice to have a clean black engine bay. Pop this one to the side as well. Now, in terms of the actual pipe, we've got one going all the way down there, which is, looks difficult. Yeah, okay. So it goes like that effectively. Funny enough, the induction kit is one video that I didn't actually put on the channel. We got it done, and then um, just didn't get around to filming it for some reason. 
So yeah. But you know, I'm happy to uh, to learn as much as the next person. Well, I do need to be careful with this because this is a very threaded bolt. But headlight's going to come out now so that we can get to the actual Jubilee clip that's underneath it. Yes, we can now get to. <laughs> we can get to the area that we need to get to. So in this particular instance, I'm just taking out the strut brace just to uh, make the access a little bit easier. Strut brace out. Uh, so you were, you were just mentioning that we've gone a little bit overkill on taking the car apart in terms of what actually needs to be taken apart in order to get things in place? Yeah, not by much, it's because the, the hose that's coming in there, this is the new upper radiator, uh, radiator hose. So it's going there, going to the thermostat housing there, and it's actually stopping here. I thought it would actually go all the way in and also take in the coolant hose, uh, sorry, the heater hoses as well, but it's not. It's um, just stopping short here at this connection. Where are the auxiliary hoses then? Are they the ones that go into the intercooler? Auxiliary hoses? No, the intercooler hoses are totally separate from... Someone mentioned in the comments, replace your auxiliary hoses, and obviously I got a little bit confused. Yeah, I've got a bit confused by that, because yeah, you have auxiliary belts, you don't really have auxiliary hoses. You've got coolant hoses, charge hoses, which is mm. your, your, your intakes. Um, like I say, you've got the coolant hoses coming to here, and then you've got hoses going to the heater matrix inside, which is what pr produces your heater. I did the uh, RS VAT pipe that goes into the brake server at the back. Uh -huh. And that pipe's a bit brittle, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Did it explode? Um, not like you did when you heard Justin Bieber's new album. Oh, mate. Or Taylor Swift's. She's your favourite, isn't she, oh, Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. She's just such a nice girl, isn't she? She's yeah. There's a lot of work. I mean, you know she's a nice girl because you've hung out with her, right? Well, basically, yeah. In my little closet where I've got like a Taylor Swift shrine. Touch it with my finger, finger powers. Let's get re ratchet on it at the same time. George, I can't get to it. Hello. I think they can hear us. <laughs> it's a very good microphone. It's a very phone. good microphone. Yeah, I've dropped my air pod in the fucking engine, baby. Hello, George. Let's see it there, to be fair. More importantly, who's one of the most um, common viewers to pop up? Kelly. Yes, Kelly yes. is a legend. Mm. Hello, boy, it's nice Hello. to see you. Nice to see you all. Coronavirus. <coughs> He's actually yeah. just come to get some batteries. You can go and do your thing. <laughs> well, uh, Cleanliness is next to godliness. I thought we'd go and see what we're having for lunch. Oh, you can have this. Alright, give me a minute. Let's go see. What are you having for lunch, Alan? What Al eats for lunch. What makes Al so exciting? You are a prankster. Where is my lunch? Did you eat my lunch? <laughs> I swear to God, if you ate my lunch, I'll kill you. I will choke you. <laughs> I'm going to choke you so bad. Where is it? Cottage pie! Mm. <laughs> Guys, so just off camera, besides to uh, charging up the compressor, we've just been replacing some crocodile clips with the Jubilee clips. Yeah. We've taken out this hose here, but the one that comes out the actual engine block itself, down here, Alan's actually having to use a drum just to get the clip out. Which is that one there? Yeah. Yeah, the reason being is a, a quick connector that will go in there with a plastic thing, rather than disturb that, potentially break it. If we just cut the clip, it's getting replaced with a Jubilee clip in a second anyway, so I'll just uh, jump in and do that. Yeah. Bob. Imagine if you snap the nipple. Don't make us all to cry. So one thing that you're going to notice, guys, it's completely different about the new hoses to the old ones. Like I said, they've got these irritating clips. The crocodile clips come off. They're a pain in the ass to adjust. But more importantly, when you get these hoses from, I think it's MK, 
MK Motorsport, you'll get the Jubilee clips with them, so that's super handy. Now, Alan has taken the screwdriver, which is slightly irritating. Angle this, the clip appropriately. Okay, that was a piece of piss. Right, the second to last pipe has been installed. Now it's getting the light back in itself. I always, I always do that, I always put the headlight back in if I forget to plug it in. So, um, I plugged it in this time. Right. There we go. What specific skills would you say you need in order to do that part up, Adam? I'd say a level 20 finger blasting wizard could do it, and I think I'm like level 16 and it's kicking my ass, but... You've completed it though, haven't you? I've uh, completed McDonald's, the whole menu. Right guys, on average the ST takes about 6.7 litres of coolant. Now obviously it's not completely drained, you know, we've not taken everything apart. So I'm going to assume there's, you know, a fair couple hundred mil in there. Should we drag it up a bit so we can see if it's dripping? Yeah, but that's it, we'll put this in and let it go. Not even at this. Guys, we think we have fixed the spell. Let's try again. So does it all just go through the pipes on its own? Yeah, basically it's going to start working its way through the engine block into the bottom of the radiator and then the air will start coming up, pushing up through the little pipes for there. Yeah. So yeah, two ways to do it is this gravity feed or you can use a vacuum system with apparatus that will pull air out. <clears throat> and it'll help blow the air through. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah. It just helps move it about. It's not ideal with all this in the way, I'm sorry. Guys, we've just been sat here for a little while, just waiting for the coolant, just to get all the air bubbles out and whatnot. But I wanted to walk you through something that I strongly dislike about this car. Besides to the state of all of this, that's going to be sorted at a later date. Really, really bodged this. Did a really bad job. But more importantly, all of this up here was like that when I got the car. Really want to replace it. Do it again, get it blacked out, so that when the Zonswap grill goes over the top, it looks that much nicer. But Alan, I am curious. Go on, mate. 6.7 litres go into the coolant tank and it's yeah. still showing that it's full. Yeah, have we put too much I, I in? I think we need to, uh, yeah, we may have put a tad too much in, but what's gonna happen is that's hot. Everything hot expands, let it cool down. It may pull down, it may blow a little air pocket out, or something like that, so we may take just a couple of heat cycles for it to settle into its happy place. So at the moment okay. it is hot, it may have a tiny bit more in that it needs, we may have to syringe it a touch out. Either way guys, I wouldn't want to bore you with all of this stuff, yeah. but more importantly, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if any of you can shine some light in the comments as to what I can do with this, maybe if I can buy a new one. Uh, you know, I could p potentially do the bonnet lock conversion thing where you swap it and have it into a lat system and then have gas struts and whatnot. But for the time being, I need to sit here and get all of this done and then I can go off and head to the gym. But more importantly, Alan, thank you very much. Matt is hey, off camera. Pleasure. But guys, if you want to shine any advice or maybe you've got a spare one and you want to send it to me, that, that's, that's cool as well. But either way, guys, thank you very much for watching. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm just going to sit here now and get all of this sort of cleaned up just a little bit more. But like I said, thank you very much for supporting the channel. Smash the video with a like if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Maybe you've done this yourself. Maybe you've been thinking about it, but either way, I want to hear about it. 
But more importantly, if you're new here, subscribe for more awesome content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Love you all. Peace out. GCN the PT. Roll the outro.